Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So this is a disposable paint palette with dried paint on it. And I'm putting a layer of wet acrylic paint on top, just like you would on the gel plate. And then I'm going to pull it off and to get a print, just like you would on the gel plate. So I do do a few more experiments with it. I try diff different paper types and... Um, just like the, how many times can you use the, the disposable paint palette kind of thing. So this is the same paint palette. Now I had been using this as a palette originally. And I'm just spreading out some black acrylic paint with the brayer. What I will say is you do get a lot of blotching. And I think it's probably just through the use of it. And also the brayer. You're on a much harder surface than you are with the gel plate. So any wee, you know, bits that are stuck to the brayer will affect how the paint rolls. So what I did was I used a, a wet paintbrush and I just kind of spread the paint a bit more after the brayer. Um, I, I used it a bit too wet though initially because it started to separate the paint. But that's fine. It was only up in the top corner. So I don't know if you've seen my gel plate video, Scraffiti on the Scraffito on the gel plate. So this is similar, but the difference is, is you can apply a lot of pressure and you can do much sharper corners. Whereas on the gel plate, you were restricted to using very blunt objects to, you know, to make the marks with and you couldn't press very hard. So on this though, you can press hard. I'm using the backs of paint brushes and I also use a pen that had run out of ink. And it was actually perfect using the pen. So the paint on here is mostly dry, but you can see some of the darker areas, it's still a bit wet. I will say the paint just moves out the way in the drier areas areas but when it's wet you get a bit of smudging so it's better to wait until it's totally dry i would say that on the gel plate it's easy to get a very thin layer of the paint and it's slightly more difficult on the disposable paint palette however i just like this is a different surface i like that the you can you know, you can be quite harsh with it. The The lines can be, you know, the lines themselves can have good corners. And also just, see, because the surface is harder, the paint gets a nice kind, when it's dry and you're doing the lines through it, you get some really nice edging on it. So this is cadmium lemon yellow acrylic paint. And... I do think that you need more, you use more paint than you do on the gel plate. But I just think, you know, for somebody that's interested in kind of printmaking and experimenting with what can be achieved. And I just think adding this in with prints that you make using the gel plate and other types of collage paper, it, it just gives you a wider range of... Um, mark making basically because you can put the same marks on each but they'll be slightly different because the surface is different so that was tissue paper i think it was wet strength tissue paper actually and it pulls off good what i found was that the more that i use the disposable paint palette as in whether it's for the paint to put out to use you know, as a palette, or whether I'm using it again and again to do these prints with. The, the more I've used the paint palette, the kind of longer I need to leave the paper on top of it for. But I think that turned out great. I also feel that the newer the palette is, the easier that the leftover paint just rubs off it as well. Um, I think that the more you use it for this graffito, you're putting indentations in it that 
probably affect, you know, the shininess of it, which is what makes it work kind of like a gel plate. And because you're creasing it as well, then it's, it's just going to get a bit flawed. However, I think that that will give you different types of mark making. So I plan to keep using these as long as I can, even though you can buy 50 for £2 in the range in the UK. <laughs> why use them all? So I'm trying to explain. Yes, so this one here is actually a brand new palette that I hadn't used before. Um, I pulled the yellow print on the left hand side when this was drying. And instead of using the wet paintbrush, I used a dry paintbrush and it's gave, left the marks. So to cover up the blotchiness in future, I'll use a damp paintbrush. <laughs> now this one here, I've removed far too much black paint. And what happens is it kind of loses... It doesn't look bad because I think removing lots of black paint is a good thing to do sometimes. But it's this area here that I've especially lost it. There's kind of no pattern or structure to it. But I do like the kind of flower head in the door <laughs> that's appeared. You can see how quickly I do that. Even though I sped it up to three times, you know, the actual scruffy toe parts. Um, it's very quick because that brayer still had some of the damp yellow paint on it when I've put on the light blue, so. Now, this palette is the one that I've already used a fair few times. I'm not sure. I think that the cleaning of it and the kind of putting on the paint and, you know, putting the paper down, it affects that. But I think the actual scruffy toe part of it, I'd never noticed any difference with it. They were... It was easy to use whether it was new or it had been used a few times. This one's the same as well. I just removed too much black. I hadn't realised that's what I'd done the last time. Now, this is photocopier paper. I thought I would use um, printer paper because that's what most of us have. And it's just cheap paper. Don't know why I left that bit in for you. <laughs> Rolling off the brayer. Um, so this is the light blue one that was on the new palette. Logic tells me that the newer the palette, the more perfect the pull should be because there's not the indentations or the wear and tear on the palette to begin with. Um, but I haven't done enough of it to actually verify that. <laughs> I would say as well, because you're doing this graffito, you've got a lot of black paint blobs coming off. They're dry, but put down a big sheet of paper underneath to collect them all. So there, I had a slight tear in the paper. But it wasn't bad. And I think as well, you know, you would do lots of practice before you did a proper um, print. I did find the wet strength tissue worked very well. Um, maybe because that's got a slightly shiny side as well. So that was me. I printed up the new palette that's been used once again. And then this is coming off the old palette. It looks like an old-fashioned pistol to me. <laughs> But again, it wasn't great because I removed too much of the black paint. This one I'm a lot more careful with. And I leave thicker lines. Look how easy that paintbrush just glides through it. It's amazing. And I thought, right, I'm going to try that kind of pattern again that I did before where it really kind of messed up. And it worked out a lot better. This was my favourite one overall. 
I think it looks like a kind of parrot crossed with a totem pole. <laughs> if that's a thing. I also think this would be great for... Um, obviously, I've done scruffito on it. But I'm going to experiment and try it with stencils. With just putting on kind of... You know, paint in general on it. I'm also interested to see how it transfers onto like a canvas, you know, like a big painting. Um, I think I think there's definitely potential to use this for for more than just the graffito or as a paint palette. Now, this was the old palette, and I don't know whether or not this paint's dried on a bit more, and that's why it's harder to move. But you can see the indentations where the paint's kind of sticking to. But I also think that will be interesting. So if you do another layer as graffiti over the top of that, and then obviously you've got bits that are left from before. I kind of do tend to pull them up from all corners. <laughs> If I feel a bit sticking, I just move on to, um, you know, another corner. But I would say that it wa it wasn't any more difficult to peel it off than it is to peel off the gel plate. So you can see there, that's the one that's been used twice and it just um, cleaned off very easily. So that's it. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you soon and I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.